Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to another StarCraft 2 Daily Masters cast. Got another really awesome one for you here today. Between a couple of players that I haven't really cast before, so it's an, it's another set of uh, new players and taken from the IEM Season 8 Singapore, uh, one of the opening qualifier tournaments or the qualifying tournament, or maybe it was the qualifier of that tournament. I don't know, there's a huge ass replay pack and I got a lot of replays out of it. So let's introduce the players. It actually took me a little while to figure this out because there's, I'm not sure if this is select or deselect. Apparently I looked up and there was a player called deselect and I was a bit worried that it wasn't the player I was thinking of. But I'm pretty sure this is actually select. He is 25 years old from South Korea, plays for Team Dig Dignatus. Dignatus. Team Dignitas, I think that's the correct way to say it. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's uh, select is deselect and vice versa. But I may be wrong. And his opponent up the top left side of the map is going to be curious. 24 years old from South Korea, plays for the Star Tail team. And I'm very, very sure that that actually is the, is the curious that I'm thinking about. So. Yeah, I'm gonna be interesting here and curious has the overlord up there He has seen just enough of the command center going down To know that it's going down and that's going to give you enough information to know Exactly what mr. Select is doing so he must know it's a command center before Be um before barracks build and he is actually building out four early lings right here I don't know why he's building the lings before the queen. He's continually building them. My guess is that he wants to actually mount some sort of early offensive. We can see he's gone straight into ling speed as fast as he possibly could. Taken these guys off there. No more gas. So it definitely looks like a lot of pressure going to be sent select's way in the very, very near future. Now we do have a bunker coming up. We've got a single marine coming out. He's going to be building a couple more. It's going to be two... Marines versus a very decent amount of links, but they are streaming in bit by bit. So, yes, he will be able to kill them as they come, although they are going to be banking up here, and once speed comes up, they should just be able to run straight through. The question is, by the time speed finishes, will Select have a wall, or will he have a gap in the wall? If he has a gap in the wall, the links are going to get in. I don't think he's going to have any chance of holding them back. He's got no sort of wall on the upper ground. Here they go, starting to come in. They're going to be taking some damage. They're going for the bunker, all of them. It's going to be very, very hard to repair it, but the two SCVs are going to have a bit of a try. They're repairing it. They're jumping back in. They're jumping back out. They're jumping back in to try and repair it and to save themselves as well. The bunker is almost dead, but staying alive for now. Those two Marines. Oh, there they go. The bunker goes down. The two Marines are going to die. They killed a ton of Lings. But let's have a look here. Oh, he's not going to be able to land it in time. The Lings managed to get down, but... Yeah, 10 Lings dying to those two Marines, so that's a phenomenal amount. And the worker's going to come around, they're going to finish off the Lings, or at least do a fairly good amount of damage to him. He's blocked it off here with the factory, and he's got enough to produce two Hellions, and uh, four Hellions actually total, so he should be able to buy enough time. But look at this man, Curious just going absolutely nuts. I don't know how Select is going to be able to hold up this much pressure. I'm not sure if he can. The work is going nuts on the Lings. They're killing a fair amount of them. But look at this. How many workers repairing these guys? And the Hellions finally out. One of them instantly going down to a very low amount of health. Finally killing off the Lings at the top side. And the Hellions scaring away the guys down the bottom side. Got to lift up the command center any second. There he goes. And now Curious has nothing left to attack. But... Has the damage been done right here? 13 workers under 27. Curious hasn't been building a lot of workers, but you can guess that's going to change now. He's going to build a crap ton. Now that he knows he's got Select trapped on a single base for the time being. is uh, he, he just he can just keep forcing that base up. There's nothing that Select can really do about that. He's going to continue to build Hellions. On and on and on and on and maybe when he gets a really large number like six or eight he might risk moving out although even with six I'm not sure if he'll be able to do anything against this link force there's just so many links they're not being reinforced though so six probably will be enough to scare these guys away six you probably lose half of them and maybe break that force but eight eight you just absolutely slaughter them but he's trying his best to get back in here and uh, just yeah 
here we go. So we got six Hellions. He's got the uh, he's got the supply depot down. Building another two Hellions, but he's going to think about moving out here. And all I can say is, Select is very very lucky. There are not Bailings on the field because otherwise this would not stop right now. We just keep on going. They bust down the supply depots and Select may well have been dead by now, but he does have eight Hellions right there. And for now, the Ling aggression is not going to happen anymore. So here we go. The Hellions out in the field, but they're going to be a little bit scared because it's going to be very easy for the Lings to flank around the behind them and either surround them and take them out or just go straight into the main base. It's going to be ages before Select has a wall up again, and Curious is building up Lings once again. So here we go, two Hellions coming out. Lings instantly surrounding them. Hellions have nowhere to go. So there's basically two free Hellion kills right there for Mr. Curious, and he is gonna take them. And he's got great Overlord coverage. He's got one over there, he's got one up there, which I don't think Select has any idea that's up there. If we have a look at his vision, no he doesn't. He knows about this one, doesn't know about the other one. And there's another one on this high ground right there, so Curious. Very, very nice overlord placement. We'll probably get another one there as well. He wants to. Oh, the Hellion's going out. Going around the corner, though. Hugging the corners, doing a pretty good job. And they just wiped out like five or six lings in one fell swoop there. And now they have the vision of the middle. Moving out. Attacking Queen's not the best of idea. And Curious with a very nice bit of creep spread early game so far. But his, uh, his eventual tactic... I'm not really sure if he's going for a hatchery right here, sorry a hive, and he's getting a fair amount of gas, he's got three bases, gas on all of them, so my guess would be mutiling and a lot of it. Here we go, the Ling's coming out, taking the watchtower off the Hellions. Hellions, oh look at that split, he's trying to surround them, the Hellions running for dear life right here. Stopping a little bit when they get to the corner, when they know they cannot be fully trapped. But here we go, the Hellions coming around and the Ling's are starting to look like they can actually move in there and start destroying stuff. There we go. Taking a couple more hits. Every time Curious meets up with the Hellions, he takes a couple more deaths. And it's only if uh, Select is actually unlucky that he ends up losing any Hellions. But he's done some nice work in here. Couple of Widow Mines. Four kills on that one. Eight kills on that one. That is stupendous. Workers killed at 12. So those Widow Mines, beautiful job. They are never going to live to see another drop though. Although these guys, this guy came in, got five kills. Very nice. Spore Koala coming in. Where is the Overseer? I don't know, but that's uh, 17 workers that have now died to Curious. He's down to only only 58 workers, man. That's that's still stupidly impressive, man. But he had, a, he had a monster macro. Now he's got a good macro, but before he had a monster macro. So absolutely essential. For select to be killing those workers otherwise he would have just got overwhelmed he may still get overwhelmed but it won't be quite as bad as it was previously and here we go a whole bunch of links all i can say is i'm glad that there's no nidus worm on the map because otherwise they would kill this base in five, five seconds flat man was it in the campaign you can have links that can actually jump and stuff like that that's scary that's really scary <laughs> the links actually getting out of there oh here we go starting to morph into some bane links Starting to get Bailing Speed level 2 upgrades. Select only getting level 1 upgrades at the moment. And the command center, is it going to spot these guys or is it just going to land? I do not know. Have a look at the vision. There is one Ling underneath and a whole bunch of other ones. And Select suddenly knows what is happening right there. And the Hellions coming out. Suddenly they're like, oh crap. But the Bailings have their eye on the main base. Just chewing through that as if it didn't even matter. And there is nothing here at all to really send against these guys. The Widow Mine going to get a really bad hit off. And the Ling's going pretty nuts. There's a bunch of Marines that are about to drop actually here. Managed to hold them off. And most of the Bailings are dead. There's still a few over here. Trying to get some good hits off. They're turning around, actually going for the Marines. The Marines actually doing a fairly good job. Oh, the Widow Mine splash damage. They're killing so many Marines. And Ling's just hacking away at the workers. The only good thing I can say about that battle is that the Bailey's did not get the great hits off on the workers that they wanted to, but still, still select in a very, very bad situation. Lost a lot of army there. It's down 21 under 59, and those Lings just did such a great job right here. Now they're coming in again. I don't know if these Marines are going to survive. Oh, they're going to take out the Widow Mines, though. Beautiful job taking out the Widow Mines, but took so much Marine damage doing that. They did have to back off. 
We do have a ton of mutas coming out. They're up to nine. Four more on the way. And Curious does have a very, very nice amount of gas income. Just going to start mining on his fourth base as well. His macro is right up there again, up to 73 over 44. And it's just going to be a matter of time now before Select uh, falls down. He's on two bases. His third base has not yet managed to land right here. And Curious is on four bases, going strong and just wiping everything out. So here we go, ton of workers going down, and the mutas get out relatively unscathed. And all we need is another rush in from the Banelings, and it's going to be Lings and mutas versus Marines. The Marines are not going to survive. I mean, th there's been some decent drop action from Select, killing a fairly good amount of workers, but in the end, the macro is just overwhelming, and I've got to say, Curious is just not going to be stopped in this game. Absolutely not. And he's just, all we have to do is look at the army tab, 103 over 54. That's not something you can make up with with a good amount of skill. That's basically just your opponent is better than you. I mean, yeah, I mean, this, the skill is there. I mean, Curious has it, and I think he is going to win this game hands down. Here we go, the total army just moving in and select giving the GG right there. So... Yeah, pretty nice play there. Very impressed with Curious's macro. Just went really, really nuts. Didn't have too much pressure put it in by Select. He did snipe a lot of workers with that very, very nice Widow Mine play, but didn't put in a ton of pressure. That really, really early Ling play caught Select off guard and really put him on the back foot. So it was hard for him to bounce back off that. Whereas for Curious, it's just a case of switching from building links to building a ton of macro, and he did it beautifully. So, yeah, very nice. And that shows you, even on the huge maps like this one, the relatively huge maps, if you get that early scout off, if you see the command center before the barracks build, there are opportunities to take advantage of that. Very, very nasty opportunities. And that's fast links, fast speed. You saw how awesome that was, man. A lesser player than Select probably would have folded completely and given up at that point. And as it was, Select was knocked back quite far. Lost a lot of stuff holding that off. So, yeah, great play by Curious and a very well-deserved victory. So, there we go. Thank you very much for watching this game. And, yeah, stay tuned tomorrow for another one. I'll see you guys then. This has been Harry Muppet. I hope you enjoyed this game.